figure, your furry family coach. And in this video, we're going to talk about five tips you can start using right now to help your cat lose some weight. It's no secret that the majority of pet cats in the United States are overweight, if not seriously obese. And this is a huge problem because it causes so many health issues in your pet. So what can we do to help them lose weight? Well, I've got five tips for you that you can start implementing right now today to help your cat start losing weight. All right, tip number one, reduce the amount of food you're feeding by 25%. This is incredibly simple, but so many of us never think to do it. We follow whatever the feeding guidelines are on the bag or the can of food, and we just feed it. And our cats are overweight and we don't do anything about it. Well, when you put that food out for your cat to eat, remove 25% of it. You will see a huge difference and your cat will barely notice. Tip number two is to stop free feeding your cat. So instead of putting down a huge bowl of food and refilling it constantly anytime it starts getting low, switch your cat to eating two or three scheduled meals a day. Now, this one may be a little bit harder for some cats than others, but they will get the hang of it. Everything will be okay. They might be a little bit grumpy for a couple of days, but they will get used to it. Tip number three, replace kibble with wet or canned food. One of the biggest problems in our cats is that they're constantly dehydrated. They're constantly in a state of dehydration because cats aren't um, they don't tend to drink a ton of water on their own. And when we feed them a dry food like kibble, that's actually dehydrating their body even more. So switching them to a wet food, first of all, is not going to have as much starch and sugars in it. And because it's, it's not, uh, not as highly processed generally as a kibble is. Um, and it's not generally as high heat process as a kibble is, you're, you're getting a little bit better nutrition into your cat and you're providing them with the hydration that their body needs. Tip number four is to replace at least 20% of whatever it is you're feeding them now. Take 20% of it away and replace it with fresh whole species appropriate foods. And what do I mean by species appropriate foods? Well, for cats, they're obligate carnivores. So I mean fresh meats. And yes, I do mean raw foods. And that's just really nothing to be scared of. It's very natural. It's it's exactly what cats eat in the wild. It's 100% natural, species-specific, biologically appropriate for your cats to eat a raw food diet. So just take 20% out of the bowl, whatever you're feeding now, and replace it with a species-appropriate fresh food that your cat will enjoy immensely and their bodies will thank you for. And tip number five, transition your cat to a full species specific biologically appropriate diet, meaning a raw food diet, completely transition them. Now, when we talk about transitioning our cats to a raw food diet, believe me, I completely understand how trial and error it is and how finicky cats can be. And yes, you're going to have to take a few goes at it. You're going to have to do it really slowly over time, but your cat is going to benefit so much from it. And in the long run, your pocketbook is too, because the healthier your pet is as they age, the less you're going to have to spend in vet bills. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I have a bonus sixth tip for you guys to help your cat lose those few extra pounds that they may have. So on top of uh, whatever you may already be doing with your cat, spend an extra 
15 to 20 minutes a day playing with your cat, interactive playing with your cat. On top of whatever um, interactive play you're already doing with your cat, add another 15 minutes. I mean, it's only 15 minutes and it's going to make a huge difference in your cat's health and weight. So there you go. There's your sixth bonus tip. If you haven't already joined the Train Positive group, please do so. I will put a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, that's it for this video, guys, and I will see you in the next video.